Game one of the Golden Horseshoe semi-final featuring the St. Catharines Falcons in Fort Erie. Capacity crowd at the Leisureplex for game one in their Meteors. First period action of this one, and it took a whole minute, 50 seconds, for somebody to strike in this hockey game. It's St. Catharines, a loose puck up in the slot. Matthew Halatcher turns and fires it home. Halatcher has his third of the postseason. St. Catharines breaks the ice first in Fort Erie. It's 1-0 Falcons. Now late stages of the first period. Things getting rough down on the far boards. And this is a little preview for this series. It's going to be a good one as everybody comes in and grabs a partner. Linesmen and officials hop in to try and separate this mess at the end of the first period. St. Catharines holds a 1-0 lead. To the second frame we go in Fort Erie. And the Mets starting to roll in front of their fans. Blake Hall's going to find this puck out front. He's going to have a couple of whacks at it, and he's able to bury it. Hall has his second of the playoffs. It's a big one, and just like that, we are all tied in Fort Erie at one, and Fort Erie wasn't done there. Midway through the second frame, now Mets on the power play. They're going to work this puck around. Liam Beamish is going to pick this puck up on the near dot. He finds his seam as he looks to get rolling in the postseason. Beamish has his first. Mets take their first lead of this hockey game. It's 2-1 Ford Erie. And that's where he would sit after 40 to period three. We go now. St. Catharines looking to even things up. It's a failed clearing attempt from Ford Erie. Tyler Hunt right there to bury it. Hunt has number five of this postseason. And just like that, St. Catharines in this seesaw game is back even. We are tied at two. And St. Catharines would continue to come. How about the effort from Easton Linz? He feeds it right across, right onto the tape. Noah Reed buries it. Reed, that's a big one for him. And St. Catharines takes a 3-2 lead on the road. And St. Catharines would not look back in this one. Fort Erie with an empty net. Grayson Gare in a race for it. He's going to tap in his first of the playoffs. Gare, electric on the far side as he puts a bow on top of this one for St. Catharines as the Falcons are going to storm into the leisureplex on a Saturday night and they take a big game one in the semifinal. St. Catharines takes it final over Fort Erie. Four to two. Game two goes Monday night back in St. Catharines. Final here from game one of the Golden Horseshoe semifinal. The Meteors drop it 4-2 to St. Catharines. Captain Ryland Masterson with me. Ryland, a very good second period from your group. What can you take from that into game two in St. Catharines on uh, Monday night? Oh, uh, yeah, we just got to keep on doing what we do. Uh, we stuck to our game, got the puck in deep, four-checked their D hard, right, made them turn over, make turnover, turnovers, right? So we just got to keep doing that and bring it into Monday. What are some things we need to improve on here going into that game two again? Just that third period kind of fell apart. Uh, yeah, we just got to get pucks out of our end, like just chip it all, the, get all the blue line, just work harder in our own end, um, get the puck deep, four check her, right? That's our game. That's what we do. We, we're a hardworking team, and uh, we just got to bring that back to Monday, and we'll be good. This place was packed in here. What can you say to the city of Fort Erie showing up for game one of the semifinal? Oh, uh, yeah, you probably hit all the time. Greatest fans in the league by far, right? They, bring, they show up every night for us, and just they're loud, they're crazy, and I love it. What can we expect from Fort Erie in a game two in St. Catharines? Uh, biggest turn, turnover you'll see all year, right? We'll bring everything we got. We know we know we have better, and we know we didn't bring it tonight, so we'll bring it Monday for sure. Meteors forward, Blake Hall with me. Blake, a tough way to start the semifinal against St. Catharines. You guys had a tough start in this one, battled back in the second period. What kind of can you take from that second period to build on going into game two? Yeah, I think we were hard on the floor check, just pressuring their D as much as we could, just trying to maintain ozone pressure and ozone time, and uh, – I think we did a good job of that in the second. Got a lot of shots to the net, so that was good. You scored a big goal in that second period. Blake brought this place back even. What can you say about the fans uh, as you got them on their feet for the first time in the semifinal? This place was packed. For sure. It's awesome to see. Love the support from uh, from the hometown. It's awesome. Uh, just love to see it. What can we expect from Fort Erie? You guys got to go back to St. Catharines. You know that place is going to be rocking as well for them. What do you guys got to do to come out in a game two and get a big win on the road? Yeah, we know it's a tough bar to play in. Uh, just got to have a good start, better than tonight, and uh, just be on them for 60 minutes, hard 60 minutes, and uh, I'm not worried.